Um, Thomas, it's a year now since you came back down to Earth from the ISS. Uh, how do you look back on your experience on the ISS? Well, it was the most fantastic time of my life. Um, and I think the mission was successful in so many respects. I mean, we, we achieved all those science objectives. Uh, but more importantly so, maybe, uh, we, we managed to inspire young people across Europe, mostly in France, yes, but, but all across Europe, um, which is good because there's a huge potential uh, of dream in, in, in what we do in space. This is not only something very dry, very technical, uh, very scientific. This also has a potential to inspire people uh, to achieve their dreams and then and go out and you know try hard and, and, and try to do their best and I certainly encourage them to do so. What was it like though being 400 kilometers above the earth? It must change your perspective on life down here on the ground. No, it does absolutely, it absolutely does. I mean, seen, seen from orbit, uh, the earth is, is so small and tiny and isolated. And that's what we, we can't really understand, what we can't grapple when we're here on earth. Um, but if you take a step back, um, you, you look at the earth as what it is. It's, a, it's an oasis of life, which is completely lost in the immensity of blackness of space. There's the only life we know, billions of light years away is here on that small planet. So once you see that, when you see the parallel between our small spacecraft, fragile, limited resources, um, Earth is just a small spacecraft, just as small, the crew is a little bit bigger, seven billions, uh, but still same problems. Limited resources, take care of the spacecraft and get along with your neighbors. And on the ISS, what sort of um, stays in your mind from that experience? What was it really like? I, it was fantastic, just the view, I'm getting up in the morning, getting out of, the, of my sleeping station and, and then just floating because every night you kind of forget that you're, that you're in space and you expect kind of to walk out of your, of your, it looks like a closet, but we call them sleeping stations, but then you realize you float, it was kind of a shot of adrenaline every morning, which was great to wake up with. Um, going out, I mean going out the door in, in, a, in a spacesuit for a spacewalk, that was fantastic. Hanging, you know, on the outside of the ISS just by two fingers and watching below my feet 450 kilometers of, of void as the most extreme experience I've ever had. When you came back to Earth in that Sawyer's capsule and you took your breath of fresh air, what was that like? It was fantastic. I was relieved because, you know, you, you hope everything's going to go well. You, you do your part, but, you know, you're never quite sure there's some risk involved. Uh, and it's not small sometimes. So I was, I was very happy. I was relieved. I was not feeling very good physically because coming back to Earth after six months without feeling the effects of gravity is very difficult. Um, but actually, the, the feeling is as if everything had been put to, to maximum, like the smells. I could, I could smell the, the cologne of the people, you know, picking me up from the capsule, uh, the colors, the contrast. Everything was put to maximum. That's really the feeling I had when coming back to Earth. And finally, um, what's next for Thomas Pesquet? When will you next go to space? And what about these rumors of you having some sort of political career? Ah, no, no, those are just rumors. Um, I don't know why, but some, some journalists got, got uh, too enthusiastic. But no, I have absolutely zero political uh, ambitions. I'm staying with the European Space Agency. I'm focusing on, the, on the, my technical job, which is Get, get myself ready for a second mission, hopefully, um, benefit the programs inside of ESA with the knowledge and the experience I gained by flying to space, because it takes a huge amount of work you know, on the ground to make some people fly to space. So now I'm doing my part, uh, and I will continue to do so until maybe they, they call my number again, in which case I'll be the happiest uh, young man on Earth. When do you think they might call your number? I don't know. I'm hoping we have the ISS until 2024 at least, because everybody committed. Um, so I'm hoping before that date I, I get a second chance, maybe if I stay healthy. Thomas Pesquet, thanks for talking to us. You're most welcome. Thank you.